Now, Cap KVU local news at 6. Retail cannabis sales again before the Pasco City Council. Now at 6, the council has introduced two resolutions. A city council meeting at Pasco City Hall begins in about an hour. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Thanks so much for joining us. And I'm Madeline Hagen. Tonight, there are two resolutions on the docket for the Pasco City Council to consider regarding the retail of recreational cannabis in Pasco. I'm taking us back just a couple of months to rehash what's led us up to tonight and why it's an important evening for decision making in Pasco. It started in September and October with the City Council hosting two public comment forums to gauge the community's reaction to retail cannabis within city limits. People from both sides came out honest and unapologetic. We worked too hard to clean our city up and I want to keep it clean. I wouldn't go to downtown Pasco now. Why, why would I want, you know what I mean? That's what I glorify downtown Pasco. The council really wanted to hear not about the opinions on cannabis, but about what people thought about the locations of potential retailers. And so now it's really about these nuances of if we're going to do it, where. Some said the location didn't really matter, but some were adamant that it stay out of downtown Pasco. We spent millions of dollars on Peanuts Park to try to improve Pasco. I don't really have a problem with it. I just don't want it in the downtown port corridor. Following the public comment hearings, it was back on the docket to discuss and possibly vote on in November. The council decided there was more to talk about and no vote was made then. It hit council again in January when the council finally voted in favor of bringing cannabis to the city of Pasco. Then in February, that vote was rescinded. It was brought back to the agenda two weeks ago. Groups of people filled the council chambers some sporting matching shirts that said, I support cannabis in Pasco. Even after the last meeting, where just about everyone had had enough of the waiting. I mean, it seemed like this just never goes away. I uh, thought we had an agreement, but it didn't fall through, so. A decision was again pushed. Now at tonight's meeting, there are two resolutions on the agenda for the Pasco City Council, which may or may not result in a final answer on this matter. I think this sounds like a good compromise because I think everyone's going to leave here unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> the first resolution is to send out an advisory vote for Pasco residents to decide on this coming November election. Or the second, if that's not approved, the council will make a decision themselves to amend or deny the previous decision to allow the retail sale of recreational cannabis within commercial and industrial zones. That meeting starts at 7 p.m at Pasco City Hall. And Riley, you'll be there tonight, so hopefully we'll have a better answer tomorrow or later tonight. <laughs> we sure will. Yeah. And did you feel it? Well, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> this is what our area looked like at 2.23 today. Maddie, that is the last minute of winter. Oh, unless it is here. Now, here's a look at our area at 2.24 as we witness the start of spring. Yes, we know both videos look exactly the same because even though we couldn't see it, we did change seasons. Here's a look at the forecast with Jason Valentine. Good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day and a nice weekend as well. And I just love saying it. Welcome to spring. We finally hit the season in the afternoon in the two o'clock hour and on and off showers with some clearing today. We could see just a little bit more shower activity come through our areas as we get to our evening hours. Then we should see quite a bit of cloudiness overnight that will keep us warm overnight and then some sunshine tomorrow Though we could see those showers that we saw today kind of boomerang back into the Ellensburg area by tomorrow morning. I'll get to that in my future cast, but still folks, we are my below our averages for this time of year. We should be around 60 degrees, for example, for the Tri-Cities, but we're about five or so degrees off of that. We are going to warm up a bit by midweek, but then again, by our weekend, we're going to be back to the mid 50s. I don't see too much warming in the near future, hopefully soon. But folks, welcome to spring. Some more showers into the evening hours, but clearing tomorrow. I'll have much more in my full forecast that's coming up later in the show. Thanks, Jason. A Kennewick business was left with thousands of dollars in damages after what's suspected to be an early morning burglary at Snod's Car Wash on Sunday. Around 2.30, according to business owners, two men were at the car wash with a dark colored vehicle and a white Chevy truck. Police say the coin machine was reportedly stolen. These are photos sent by the owners of the car wash that show the men suspected of the crime as well as the vehicles allegedly involved. 
According to the Kennewick Police Department, there has been a spike in these types of crimes. But yes, over the last few years, there's been ebb and flows with different types of crimes from vehicle prowls to burglaries to Cadillac converter thefts. Um, car washes getting hit has happened before. Sergeant Littrell says spree burglaries have taken place at car washes, but it's the first one recently that's taken place he's aware of. If you recognize the people or the cars, you can contact the Kennewick Police Department at 509-585-4208. Now at 6, funny money turns up in Benton County. The sheriff's office posted pictures of the fake cash on the agency's Facebook page. It says deputies located a man passing the money off as legitimate. You can see in the pictures some of the cash has markings indicating it's only for use as a prop in media productions. The sheriff's office says to keep an eye out for funny money when spending cash or receiving change. And frozen strawberries sold at several stores in Washington have been tied to an outbreak of hepatitis A. Scenic Fruit Company is recalling its frozen organic strawberries sold under five different brand names, including Costco's Kirkland Signature and Aldi's Simply Nature brand. The company's organic tropical fruit blend that is sold at Trader Joe's is also on the recall. At least two people have been hospitalized. Hepatitis A is a contagious liver liver disease. If you have the product, you can return it for a refund. And another recall tonight, this one impacting Perigo Gerber Good Start Soothe Pro Powdered Infant Formula. It might have bacterial contamination. The formula was produced between January 2nd and the 18th of this year. According to the company, no products have shown signs of bacterial contamination so far and no reports of anyone getting sick. Perigo initiated the recall out of an abundance of caution. If you have the product, throw it away and request a refund from the company. 24 years old, sentenced to life without parole for robbery. 25 years later, he became a free man. Tonight we hear from a Tri-Cities man two years after his release and how he's working to make our community a better place. The year was 1996 and 24-year-old Dean Fillion was hearing these words from a Snohomish County judge. We have no choice but to sentence you to life without parole where you will die in prison. Dean was convicted of accessory to second degree robbery, a strike offense at the time. This was Dean's third and final strike carrying that mandatory sentence. They're taking my life from me um, for something as petty as, as stealing beer. It's a crime, I get it, I deserve to do some time. Uh, but the underlying issue was that I was an alcoholic. Dean says he had a rough upbringing, raised by a single mom who constantly worked. I went to the streets uh, for kids that were just like me, and they introduced me to drinking and smoking weed and stealing and, and hanging out, but it was a camadre uh, with family that I didn't get at home. Full-blown alcoholic, at least by the time I was 15. In 1990, he was convicted of assault in the second degree. In 1994, a second degree robbery. Then in 1996, strike three, game over. That's pretty devastating at 24 just for what I did. Dean says he and a couple of friends stole beer and cigarettes from a gas station market, and one of them threatened the clerk, saying he had a gun. Dean was sent to the Walla Walla State Penitentiary. I was bad in there. A few times I thought I gave up. Like, I was just going to end it all in there. While incarcerated, Dean filed multiple appeals that were denied. But in 2019, the Washington State Legislature removed second-degree burglary as a third-strike offense. After some back and forth, the courts found that Dean's punishment was, quote, cruel and unusual, and he was resentenced. According to the updated law, he got credit for time served. And he says, you're going to get out. And um, I still couldn't believe it because you always look at the worst but hope for the best. But on March 3rd, 2021, Dean's release date, the world was a different place than he'd left it. Dean had to get an ID, learn how to use a cell phone and the internet. And thank goodness he learned about social media where he met his fiance, Shelly Drake. Had God not placed us together, um, I probably would have went back to prison. Both she and Dean also work as peer support specialists at the Grind Cafe in Kennewick. God gave me a second chance to come out here and try to change lives. And that's what I've always pushed for. We're passionate about it. Um, we're passionate about helping the youth. We're passionate about helping the still suffering addict. Um, it's where our hearts are at. 
Today, Dean says he enjoys the little things in life with his best friend at his side. While he can't get back time, he can enjoy the years of life ahead of him. I wanted to make my mom proud that's sitting up there in heaven. And my sister and my grandparents and all of them are smiling down on me and, be, and, and are thinking, man, he is an amazing man. We always knew he had it in him. Now, Shelly, his fiance, also has an incredible story of redemption. Both of them hope to reach youth who are at risk as well as help those who are in active addiction. They say it starts with who and what you surround yourself with. We'll have much more online at yachtrainews.com. And the Manhattan Project helped to put the Tri-Cities on the map. Now you can explore a portion of the Hanford site for free. Tours will soon begin. The details still to come. Also taking action, law officers in Yakima now praising a gun store. They say what it did might have prevented potential violence. Plus enjoying the beauty of Chesterly Park. Learn about improvements now underway in Yakima. That's next on Cap KBU Local News at 6. Make a move in the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet. Like the CRV and Accord with available hybrid powertrains designed for more responsive performance and more advanced tech. When you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2022 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. Get moving and find the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, stunning smiles for the whole family. Make an experience this weekend to Vapiano. Relax in the country, experience the wine, and share in the joy. Vapiano awaits you and your friends. Make it a day to remember. Vapiano Estate and Winery, slow down, enjoy the journey. Join us for the Active for Life Senior Prom March 23rd from 4 to 6.30 p.m. at the Uptown Theater in Richland. There will be dinner, games, a photo booth, live music, and of course, dancing. Grab your favorite senior, put on your best Roaring Twenties outfit, and dance the night away. We'll see you there. Do you have a current vehicle loan or lease? Yes! Do you want a low financing rate? Yes! Do you want a new ride? Yes! If you've answered yes, then stop what you're doing and get to Steve Hahn today. Stuck in a loan or lease? Steve Hahn wants to get you released and into any new or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV with over 500 to choose from. With zero down and as low as 1.9% financing even on used vehicles. Have a job clearing $350 per week? You're virtually approved today. SteveHahnAutoGroup.com Hey, Dad, look. Us. This is the magma chamber. Uh-huh. This isn't us, is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? She's not answering. What? And when our phones have turned us into this, LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break oh. from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. U.S. Cellular, built for us. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Daikin Fit System and Thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe in the healing power of a new smile, the way it makes you look and feel, the way a smile lights up a room, so people can see the best version of you, which is why we make new smiles affordable for everyone, so you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Scan the QR code to learn more, or visit AffordableDentures.com. Go ahead and smile. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone. Yakima area law enforcement officials are applauding a local gun store whose actions they say may have prevented a shooting. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us it's a case that's now in the federal court system. We all find out about the terrible situation once it happens. Uh, but there are these kind of situations out there where um, violence is being prevented. And in this case, it was prevented uh, by a, a gunshot. We had a, a case where a young man uh, flew from Asia. Walked into the gun shop. 
just threw some threw some alarms up uh, from several people that talked to him. They say he passed a background check, bought firearms, but didn't leave with them. In Washington state on some auto rifles, there is a mandatory two week uh, waiting period. He left, but they got a call from another gun shop concerned about him. And two days later, he was back. The first time was a, hey, pay attention. You know, some people just are odd. Uh, the second time it came in, it, he came in and went past odd to uh, concerning. He was making threats. Um, death threats uh, specific to a firearm. They called the police who launched an investigation. In the meantime, they say he came back a third time wanting to shoot at the range, but they said no. We preach suicide awareness. We turn people away from the range uh, a lot of times that we show some of the red flags. So something again that you just really have to to pay attention to. Police say that customer is now facing charges in federal court. I think it was a realistic threat. Of course, we'll never know, but uh, we took it that way. And I think that, that there's a, a group of people who are much safer now because of it. It doesn't have to be us. It can be all of you too. Firearms education and paying attention to the people in your community will make a huge difference. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News. Law enforcement and the gun store owner are also calling for everyone to come together to address issues like mental health and drugs as a way to prevent violence. Construction began today on a long anticipated upgrade at Yakima's Chesterly Park that will make it easier for everyone to get around. The project will add almost 2200 feet of paved walkway at the park connecting the existing walking path to the sidewalk on River Road. It'll also make a loop for bicyclists and pedestrians alike, bringing it up to more than 4,500 feet of paved path. Park officials say most of the park should remain open to the public and traffic shouldn't be affected during construction. We love it that we provide recreation opportunities, exercise opportunities for our community to use, to get outside, to enjoy you know, the weather, to enjoy the parks, have fun, make memories and just, you know, enjoy living here. Park officials say they're hoping to have the project completed by the end of April or early May. Now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Uh -huh, good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you're staying warm today as we're seeing cooler temperatures. It is a wet Monday off and on, but my goodness, welcome to spring. It is finally here and it feels pretty darn good. So in our future cast, after on and on showers into our evening hours, it looks like it's going to be a bit to the north, though we could see some scattered showers coming in. But as we get to tomorrow morning, we could see the system doubling back into the Ellensburg area with some shower activity that could persist into the early afternoon afternoon, but our other areas are going to be seeing more sunshine after the morning hours. So when this shower system is all said and done, we expect uh, not too much of rain up to a quarter of an inch for Tri-Cities, Yakima, Ellensburg. Walla Walla really got the brunt of it up to a half an inch. I'm going to think it's pretty close to that in Pendleton from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. So we did see some significant rainfall. It was uh, slow and steady throughout the day, but again, we did see some clearing, a little bit of sunshine just kind of a hint of what we're going to see later on this week. So our temperature trend, as I said earlier, our average is around 60 degrees for the Tri-Cities. So for the week ahead, we're going to be seeing highs in the 50s mostly could even see an upper 40 or two uh, in the Ellensburg area but we are going to warm up as we get to Wednesday and Thursday but by the time we get to our weekend we're going to cool back down to the mid 50s so again folks not really much variation on the way in the higher level or in the lower level of, of warmer temperatures or cooler temperatures so our wind outlook we are going to see a bit of a spike Thursday and Friday between 15 and 25 mile per hour winds so a pretty blustery end to our work week then it's going to slow back down into our weekend. So as we look at our almanac, we are behind in our highs, but we are well ahead in our lows. But that, of course, happens when we have a shower activity or cloudy coverage overnight. And pretty much the same story for the Tri-Cities, just four degrees off the average for today, but seven degrees above our usual overnight low. All right, it's our 2023 countdown. Baseball's on the way, 10 days until the Seattle Mariners opener. They're going to be home. That's going to be very exciting. Easter, three weeks from yesterday, and the NFL draft right here on Cap KVU ABC, just over a month away. 
So overnight tonight, we do expect to see warm conditions continuing, though a bit cooler than we saw uh, last night overnight. And again, we could see just a shower or two, especially in Ellensburg as we get to the morning hours. As we move into our Tuesday, moving along in the week, we're going to have some early cloud coverage, but then we'll see clearing as the day goes on. And again, we could see a little bit of shower activity for Ellensburg, maybe coming into Yakima. Other than that, though, we're in the mid to lower 50s as we're kind of staying where we have been. So for the Tri-Cities, we're going to be at the lower 60s Wednesday and Thursday. And then into our weekend, into our next work week, we're going to be stuck in those mid 50s. But we do have more sunshine than not to talk about, especially on Wednesday. Overnight lows above that freezing level till we get to the weekend. In the Yakima region, where you get to 60 on Wednesday and cool all the way down to the lower 50s as we get into uh, Friday and into our next work week. And we could see a little precipitation as we get over into Monday. We'll keep an eye on that. Overnight lows below the freezing mark starting Thursday late night. So folks, after on and off showers today with some clearing in places, we do expect to see a much nicer day tomorrow. Just in Ellensburg, keep an eye out for morning showers, maybe even into the afternoon tomorrow. Other than that, should be a beautiful Tuesday ahead. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Let's go, wolves. Load up. Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Wherever you go, a Ford Explorer is the key to survival. Get 0% APR for 36 months on an in-stock 2022 Explorer. Only at your local Ford dealer. Next ET. We loved it. Where was Ben Affleck and Matt Damon bringing air to Austin? We're still working? Okay, good. Plus, ET's at 90's Con. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Cap KVO. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. Like, yeah. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So you don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, crowd go crazy. the RS family of Chevy SUVs, definitely worth a follow. Get 2.9% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. See your community Chevy dealers. At the Blue Mountain Station Cooperative in Dayton, Washington, we offer you the Pacific Northwest's finest local products. Fresh baked goods, locally grown produce, artisan cheese, fresh roasted coffee, wine, honey, and so much more. We invite you to explore Dayton today. For the first time in a while, the road ahead of us looks good. And it's about time. Since 1989, Arrow Construction Supply has been Washington and Idaho's leading provider of products and services for asphalt, concrete, and erosion control industries. We have all the products and equipment for sale and rent to get the job done. So if you're ready to make your road home as smooth as the road ahead, then you'll want Arrow paving the way. Arrow Construction Supply. What are the biggest operational challenges on your farm? Data management and displays? Navigating the John Deere Operations Center, equipment setup and infield adjustments? If you have precision agriculture questions, we have the Precision Ag Answers. Join RDO Equipment Company's team of experts for Precision Ag Answers, a collection of videos covering John Deere Precision Ag technology. Everything from quick tips to basic how-tos and in-depth tutorials. Ben Affleck sets the record straight. Next Extra, breaking down what really happened during that awkward viral Grammy moment and how it feels to reunite with Matt on screen for their new movie, Air. A real treat. Next Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Cap KVO. Welcome back, everyone. The FCC voted unanimously today to adopt new rules to stop scam texts. It means phone providers have to block text messages from phone numbers that appear to be invalid, unallocated, or unused. The FCC says carriers will also have to block messages from phone numbers that claim to never send text messages and numbers the government identified as not used for texting. Authorities say scam robotexts often contain malicious links to software that can infect your phone. The FCC may take further action. It is also considering applying do not call registry protections 
to text messages. And new tonight, tours of Hanford's B reactor and pre-war tours will begin next month. According to the National Park Service's Facebook post, the tours begin April 3rd and run through November. They will also take place on the upcoming holiday weekends, which include Memorial Day, Independence Day, and Labor Day holiday weekends. The Department of Energy offers the free tours, but advanced registration is encouraged because the tours do fill up pretty quickly. You're watching Cap KV Local News at 6. We'll be back in a moment. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Daikin Fit System and Thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups or get $2750 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. We're celebrating our 28th anniversary with a new Bronco Sport giveaway. During Punch It For Bucks and Broncos at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Punch the board and win over $4,000 in big bucks and 2,800 entries to boost your chances to win a Ford Bronco Sport every Friday and Sunday in March. Plus, don't miss Bronco Billy's bonus rounds where you can earn double the bucks. Be sure to join us on Saturdays for a special anniversary 28-time entry multiplier. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible Nutriblade knives, coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. Order right now to get this professional six piece set of Nutriblades for just $29.95. We'll even ship them to you free. Get your own Nutriblade knives, the last knives you'll ever buy. We know vaccines, immunizations, and boosters save lives. They nearly eradicated polio, protected our infants from chickenpox and measles, and kept our kids safe from whooping cough and meningitis. The best way to keep your family safe from these viruses is to stay informed about when to get vaccinated. If you have questions about vaccinations, like COVID-19 or the flu, talk with your health care provider today. Learn more at askyourprovider.org. When it comes to supplying the farm, come to Northwest Farm Squad. Keep a flock healthy and happy with the largest selection of Purina around. Plus, all the equipment you need to keep the farm running right. And we have the best customer service. We really do. Northwest Farm Supply in Hermiston, Prosser, and Othello. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires. I'm a constant vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. During our spring tire sale, we watch out for your wallet too. Save up to $175 when you buy select tires with financing. Les Schwab Tires. <laughs> Next live, Zach Braff, General Hospital, Spinola Hughes, plus the new Menudo performs. Tomorrow morning at 9 on Cap KVU. Welcome back, everyone. At the top of this newscast, we told you about tonight's Pasco City Council meeting at 7 o'clock with a focus on two resolutions regarding potential cannabis sales in Pasco. And Riley, you're headed there right now. Right, Maddie. It's a story that I've been following for yeah, a couple absolutely. months. And I'll bring you more information about what happened at the meeting. That's tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest, which begins at 5 a.m. All right. And are those meetings uh, streamed online? Do you they know? are streamed okay, online. And so you can watch if people can watch at home. 100%. Alrighty, thank you so much, Riley. Still to come on Cap View, former President Trump says he will be arrested tomorrow and has called for his supporters to protest. The details next. 
Also, the tricks of the trade used to trick you out of your hard-earned cash, exposing scammer tactics. The news at 6.30 starts right now. Now, Cap KVU local news at 6.30. Now to the latest on the Manhattan District Attorney's criminal investigation into former President Trump. Trump claiming on his social media platform that he will be arrested tomorrow and calling for his supporters to protest. Now ABC News has not verified those claims and the DA has not provided any comment. This comes as the grand jury in this case hears from another witness today. And now Republicans in Congress are getting involved demanding evidence and testimony from the DA about his potential criminal case against Trump. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Federal and local authorities on alert after calls from former President Trump for his supporters to take to the streets in protest if he's indicted. We're monitoring comments on social media. NYPD is doing their normal role of making sure that uh, there are, there's no inappropriate actions in the city. Trump claiming without evidence he'll be arrested Tuesday in connection with the Manhattan DA's criminal investigation into alleged hush money payments made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels shortly before the 2016 election, which legal experts say may have violated campaign finance laws. ABC News has not verified Trump's claims and he hasn't said why he thinks he'll be arrested. Prosecutors plowing forward with their investigation. In an email obtained by ABC News, DA Alvin Bragg told his staff, we do not tolerate attempts to intimidate our office or threaten the rule of law in New York. Monday, top House Republicans sending a letter to Bragg demanding his office turn over testimony and evidence related to their investigation and potential indictment of Trump. Meanwhile, the grand jury hearing from more witnesses Monday, attorney Bob Costello and former Trump fixer Michael Cohen. Bob Costello who's been a longtime ally of the former president. He's something of an exculpatory witness for Trump's legal team. Cohen has been called in and, and told to be available for possible rebuttal. Cohen already testified for about five hours last week, and Daniels herself spoke with the DA's office in recent days. Trump's attorney says he paid off the porn actress to protect his family. And former Vice President Mike Pence, who has grown increasingly critical of Trump coming to his defense in an exclusive interview with ABC, calling this another politically charged prosecution, despite not knowing what evidence the grand jury has seen. Pence also calling for any protests in support of Trump to be peaceful. And now moving to the weather and the new season has arrived. Spring is finally here after what felt like a very long winter. Now spring started at approximately 224 this after or exactly excuse me 224 this afternoon jason valentine has your cap KVU first alert weather forecast good monday evening everyone hope you've had a wonderful day and a nice weekend as well and i just love saying it welcome to spring we finally hit the season in the afternoon in the two o'clock hour and on and off showers with some clearing today we could see just a little bit more shower activity come through our areas as we get to our evening hours then we should see quite a bit of cloudiness overnight that will keep us warm overnight and then some sunshine tomorrow though we could see those showers that we saw today kind of boomerang back into the Ellensburg area by tomorrow morning I'll get to that in my future cast but still folks we are my below our averages for this time of year. We should be around 60 degrees, for example, for the Tri-Cities, but we're about five or so degrees off of that. We are going to warm up a bit by midweek, but then again by our weekend, we're going to be back to the mid-50s. I don't see too much warming in the near future, hopefully soon. But folks, welcome to spring. Some more showers into the evening hours, but clearing tomorrow. I'll have much more in my full forecast that's coming up later in the show. Thank you so much, Jason. One woman is in critical condition after an early morning crash in Yakma. It happened around 1 a.m. at the intersection of Zaire Road and South 72nd Avenue. Authorities say the 19-year-old woman was turning left when another car being driven by a 27-year-old man came into the intersection. That man has minor injuries. What led up to the crash remains under investigation. New at 6.30, an unusual drive-by shooting now under investigation in western Washington. It happened early Sunday morning, and the bullet struck a passenger in an Uber. According to Washington State Patrol, a car came up alongside the Uber as it was taking a passenger from Seattle to Bellevue and opened fire. The passenger was shot but survived and has undergone surgery. There's no update on their condition. State Patrol is seeking witnesses to this shooting. 
Now to the latest on the global efforts to avoid a potential international banking crisis. The Swiss government smoothing the path for investment banking giant UBS to purchase its struggling rival Credit Suisse for more than $3 billion. This comes as the U.S. Federal Reserve and some of the world's other central banks come together to provide easier access by foreign banks to U.S. dollars. ABC's Ike Ijachi reports. In the latest efforts to shore up the financial system, the FDIC says New York Community Bank has agreed to purchase a significant chunk of the failed Signature Bank for $2.7 billion. Starting Monday, 40 branches of Signature Bank will be renamed Flagstar Bank. The deal will also include the purchase of over $38 billion in Signature's assets, slightly more than a third of the bank had on hand when it failed a week ago. Bloomberg is also reporting billionaire investor Warren Buffett Buffett has been in talks with the White House to invest in other regional banks like Signature. The failure of Signature and the larger Silicon Valley Bank has placed greater scrutiny on the Federal Reserve's oversight after ABC confirmed a New York Times report that the Fed knew for more than a year about the governance and liquidity issues facing Silicon Valley Bank well before its collapse, even issuing several warnings about SVB's poor internal risk management systems. Overseas, following a week of volatility in the banking system, Swiss regulators brokering a deal for investment bank UBS to acquire its embattled smaller rival Credit Suisse in a $3 billion deal. This was a shotgun uh, wedding um, with the objective to secure uh, financial system stability. Financial experts and Swiss regulators agree the move will likely prevent wider financial chaos. I think the biggest risk has been removed, but there was no choice for policymakers uh, to do what they did over the weekend, and they did it belatedly. They should have done it before. Both Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen are praising the UBS Credit Suisse deal to increase global financial stability and emphasizing that the U.S. banking system remains strong. We have a lot of news that will make headlines this week across the Pacific Northwest and the nation. On Wednesday, a Washington State Senate committee will hold a vote on a proposal to allow duplexes and fourplexes in more neighborhoods across the state. That proposal has already passed the state house. Also coming up this week, the Federal Reserve will meet to decide if it should raise interest rates for the ninth time in an effort to fight inflation. That meeting begins tomorrow and runs through Wednesday. The observance of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, Ramadan excuse me, begins Wednesday evening. Thursday, President Biden makes his first official trip to Canada since he took office. The president will talk about trade and immigration with the prime minister and also address Canada's parliament. And Gonzaga's university's men's basketball team has advanced to the Sweet 16. The team faces number two seed UCLA Thursday in Las Vegas. Now to social media and its impact on younger minds. More school districts have filed lawsuits against the major social media companies claiming they're responsible for a growing mental health crisis. Here's ABC's Rhiannon Alley. Earlier this year, it was Seattle Public Schools suing, claiming social media companies are hurting students' mental health. Now, more districts are joining this legal fight. This is a demand for these companies to do better with respect to this, this egregious misconduct with respect to targeting kids. The latest is Bucks County, Pennsylvania, adding its name to a nationwide lawsuit against Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and YouTube, claiming social media use is linked to increases in mental, emotional, developmental, and behavioral disorders, including cyberbullying, eating disorders, anxiety, and suicide-related outcomes. I wouldn't be surprised that by the middle of the year or the end of the year, that school districts all over the country are filing similar lawsuits. We may also see lawsuits being filed by the U.S. Department of Education and the Department of Justice. Google, which owns YouTube, responded, saying, we provide parents with the ability to set reminders, limit screen time, and block specific types of content. And Snap, which owns Snapchat, says it uses human moderation to review user-generated content before it can reach a large audience. And it said it works closely with leading mental health organizations. Critics of the lawsuit say it's up to parents to do a better job monitoring their kids' online behavior. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. And the CDC says 57% of teen girls have reported feeling persistently sad or hopeless. 29% of boys said they felt the same way. Well, it is a huge problem. Billions of dollars lost to last year to scammers. Exposing their tactics will hopefully arm you with information. 
And it is time to celebrate the return of spring at last. Jason Valentine has your first alert forecast that's still to come on Cap KV Local News at 630. Portion of Cap KV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Say no to Middleman Mattress Mark of Malaise. And yes to Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress. And during the March Mattress Sale, get the Summit Firm for only $299.99. Plus three years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups or get $2750 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. See your community Chevy dealers. Eris, influencer, DJ, mother, the one and only Paris Hilton. And now tomorrow, she's live on GMA. And no question is off limits. So what will she reveal? Tomorrow, Paris Hilton live on ABC's Good Morning America. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Daikin Fit System and Thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. For the first time in a while, the road ahead of us looks good, and it's about time. Since 1989, Arrow Construction Supply has been Washington and Idaho's leading provider of products and services for asphalt, concrete, and erosion control industries. We have all the products and equipment for sale and rent to get the job done. So if you're ready to make your road home as smooth as the road ahead, then you'll want Arrow paving the way. Arrow Construction Supply. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more versatility and number one rated durability and owner experience built in. Like Kubota compact tractors that can do it all right, Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut, and the Sidekick utility vehicle built for hard work and fun at 40 miles per hour. Kubota equipment lives up to the highest standards. Yours. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Say no to Middleman Mattress Mark of Malays. And yes to Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress. And during the March Mattress Sale, get the Summit Firm for only $299.99. Plus three years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Welcome back, everyone. The Federal Trade Commission has recent numbers on fraud in America. Almost two and a half million Americans filed fraud reports to the FTC last year, and they lost a lot of money. ABC's Melissa Adon now has some tips from experts about how you can be on the lookout for someone who may be trying to scam you. Consumers reported losing nearly $8.8 .8 billion to fraud in 2022, according to the Federal Trade Commission. That's more than 30% higher than 2021. Experts say that fraudsters have certain tactics that they use to try to steal your money. They often attempt to play on your emotions. Scammers, regardless of the type of scam they're using, typically try and create a sense of urgency. Either it's an urgency where something bad is going to happen unless you act right away, or you're going to miss out on something good unless you act right away. The key is they're trying to get you to think emotionally. Scammers sometimes try to get you to pay the money in ways that are unusual asking you to pay with a gift card or send money through a peer-to-peer -peer app like Cash App or Venmo uh, or wire transfer like Western Union. Those are really common payment methods that scammers employ regardless of the type of scam that they are running. 
And they often stress that the fake deal they may be pitching should be kept secret. They will often try and isolate you, try and make it sound like you shouldn't tell anybody about what's happening. So what are some things you can do to avoid getting scammed? Beware of phone calls or text messages from people you don't recognize. If you get one of those, the best course of action is just not to respond at all. And because if somebody who really wants to get in touch with you, chances are they could probably find a different way to get in touch with you. Never click on a link in an email or text message from someone you don't know. That's a very common tactic that scammers use to try and uh, get you to a website where they can obtain personal information. Also, experts say never make an immediate impulse decision. Give yourself some time to think it through before you send money to anyone you don't know. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. A hot good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you're staying warm today as we're seeing cooler temperatures. It is a wet Monday off and on, but my goodness, welcome to spring. It is finally here and it feels pretty darn good. So in our future cast, after on and on showers into our evening hours, it looks like it's going to be a bit to the north, but we could see some scattered showers coming in. But as we get to tomorrow morning, we could see the system doubling back into the Ellensburg area with some shower activity that could persist into the early hours afternoon, but our other areas are going to be seeing more sunshine after the morning hours. So when this shower system is all said and done, we expect uh, not too much of rain up to a quarter of an inch for Tri-Cities, Yakima, Ellensburg. Walla Walla really got the brunt of it up to a half an inch. I'm going to think it's pretty close to that in Pendleton from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. So we did see some significant rainfall. It was uh, slow and steady throughout the day, but again, we did see some clearing, a little bit of sunshine just kind of a hint of what we're going to see later on this week. So our temperature trend, as I said earlier, our average is around 60 degrees for the Tri-Cities. So for the week ahead, we're going to be seeing highs in the 50s mostly. Could even see an upper 40 or two uh, in the Ellensburg area. But we are going to warm up as we get to Wednesday and Thursday. But by the time we get to our weekend, we're going to cool back down to the mid 50s. So again, folks, not really much variation on the way in the higher level or in the lower level of, of warmer temperatures or cooler temperatures. So our wind outlook, we are going to see a bit of a spike Thursday and Friday between 15 and 25 mile per hour winds. So a pretty blustery end to our work week. Then it's going to slow back down into our weekend. So as we look at our almanac, we are behind in our highs, but we are well ahead in our lows. But that, of course, happens when we have a shower activity or cloudy coverage overnight. And pretty much the same story for the Tri-Cities, just four degrees off the average for today, but seven degrees above our usual overnight low. All right, it's our 2023 countdown. Baseball's on the way, 10 days until the Seattle Mariners opener. They're going to be home. That's going to be very exciting. Easter three weeks from yesterday and the NFL draft right here on Cap KVU ABC just over a month away. So overnight tonight we do expect to see warm conditions continuing though a bit cooler than we saw uh, last night overnight. And again, we could see just a shower or two, especially in Ellensburg as we get to the morning hours. As we move into our Tuesday, moving along in the week, we're going to have some early cloud coverage, but then we'll see clearing as the day goes on. And again, we could see a little bit of shower activity for Ellensburg, maybe coming into Yakima. Other than that, though, we're in the mid to lower 50s as we're kind of staying where we have been. So for the Tri-Cities, we're going to be at the lower 60s Wednesday and Thursday. And then into our weekend, into our next work week, we're going to be stuck in those mid 50s, but we do have more sunshine than not to talk about, especially on Wednesday. Overnight lows above that freezing level till we get to the weekend. In the Yakima region, we get to 60 on Wednesday and cool all the way down to the lower 50s as we get into uh, Friday and into our next work week. And we could see a little precipitation as we get over into Monday. We'll keep an eye on that. Overnight lows below the freezing mark starting Thursday late night. So folks, after on and off showers today with some clearing in places, we do expect to see a much nicer day tomorrow. Just in Ellensburg, keeping out for morning showers, maybe even into the afternoon tomorrow. Other than that, should be a beautiful Tuesday ahead. Thank you so much, Jason. We have a lot more news to share with you on our mobile app. You can use the camera on your smartphone to scan this QR code, which is also at the bottom of your screen throughout the show. The code takes you right to our app for news and weather on demand. It's free to download and there's no subscription fee. We'll be right back after the break. 
There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. Get zero for 36 plus 2,000 trade-in cash on an in-stock 2022 Escape, only at your local Ford dealer. The biggest ladies' night of the year is coming to Legends Casino Hotel on April 1st. Direct from the Las Vegas Strip, it's the world-famous men of Hunks, the show. This high-energy show will ignite your senses and captivate your imagination. So ladies, get your friends together and make plans for the ultimate girls' night out. Hunks, the show, April 1st at Legends Casino Hotel. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com or at the Casino Gift Shop. Legends Casino Hotel, because fun is how we roll. Hey, Dad, look, us. this is the magma chamber. Like... Uh-huh. This isn't us, is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? She's not answering. What? And when our phones have turned us into this? LT? What do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break oh. from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. It feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. <laughs> U.S. Cellular. Built for us. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Who says a small dam can't make electricity? The dam generates about, on average, about 10 megawatts of energy a year. Fly the Northwest over Post Falls Dam. This is clean, renewable energy. Cat Cave View Local News at 6, Tuesday. Aha, we hope you have a wonderful Monday. We hope to see you tomorrow morning on Good Morning Northwest. We'll let you know what comes out of Pasco City Council's meeting once again discussing the retail sale of cannabis in the city. More sunshine on the way, all of your forecast. Hope to see you starting at 5 a.m. Thanks to less flop tires, I'm a constant vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. During our spring tire sale, we watch out for your wallet too. Save up to $175 when you buy select tires with financing. Les Schwab Tires. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. Get zero for 36 plus 2,000 trade-in cash on an in-stock 2022 Escape, only at your local Ford dealer. E.T., followed by Extra, tonight at 7 on Cap KVU. Welcome back, everyone. The world is approaching catastrophic levels of heating. That's according to a new report backed by the United Nations. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Synthesis report aggregated all the data released over the past few years. The report says the impact of planet heating pollution is already more severe than anticipated. It also suggests the planet is headed toward negative and irreversible consequences. The UN Secretary General said today that time is running out. He called the issue a, quote, ticking time bomb, end quote, for the climate. The report pointed to the use of fossil fuels as the biggest threat to climate change action. NASA is ending a 15-year mission studying clouds at the edge of space. The reason for that is battery issues. The spacecraft named the acronym AIM, which stands for Aeronomy of Ice in the Mesosphere, no longer supports operations. The spacecraft's batteries began declining in 2019, but it still remained able to send a significant amount of data. However, the continuing decline in battery power has now left it unable to receive commands or collect data. AIM actually completed its original mission in 2009, but was able to extend operations for several more years. NASA will monitor the spacecraft in the event that it is able to reboot and send a signal. You're watching Cap KV Local News. Jason has a final check of your forecast after we return. Do you have a current vehicle loan or lease? Yes. Do you want a low financing rate? Yes. Do you want a new ride? Yes. 
If you've answered yes, then stop what you're doing and get to Steve Hahn today. Stuck in a loan or lease? Steve Hahn wants to get you released and into any new or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV with over 500 to choose from. With zero down and as low as 1.9% financing even on used vehicles. Have a job clearing $350 per week? You're virtually approved today. SteveHahnAutoGroup.com we're celebrating our 28th anniversary with a new Bronco Sport giveaway. During Punch It for Bucks and Broncos at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Punch the board and win over $4,000 in big bucks and 2,800 entries to boost your chances to win a Ford Bronco Sport every Friday and Sunday in March. Plus, don't miss Bronco Billy's bonus rounds where you can earn double the bucks. Be sure to join us on Saturdays for a special anniversary 28-time entry multiplier. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. We know vaccines, immunizations, and boosters save lives. They nearly eradicated polio, protected our infants from chickenpox and measles, and kept our kids safe from whooping cough and meningitis. The best way to keep your family safe from these viruses is to stay informed about when to get vaccinated. If you have questions about vaccinations, like COVID-19 or the flu, talk with your health care provider today. Learn more at askyourprovider.org. Introducing Otaka Tequila. This is your chance to be part of a multi-billion dollar industry and growing every year. Imagine walking into a restaurant bar and ordering a drink for your friends or family and telling them that you own a piece of this. Otaka Tequila is a new tequila company already in bars, on shelves, and aiming to launch worldwide. Call now to discover how you can be a part of Otaka Tequila. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace the roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. It's fantasy sweet week and sparks are literally flying. This week in particular, sex is off the table. What feels right to me is not to explore sexual connections with three different women. Oh my God, I said one thing and I did another. What is wrong with you? I don't even feel like I can go back there. I literally just want to go home. This is the biggest mistake I could have done. Portion of Cap KB sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone. Easter falls on April 9th this year, and that date is quickly approaching. The Ark of Tri-Cities has announced its Easter egg hunt. It's Saturday, April 8th at Columbia Point Park in Richland. There are three hunts for different age categories. The first one begins at 1030. You can find much more information at the Ark of Tri-Cities website. Now here's Jason with a final check of your first day of spring forecast. All right, let's get you ready for your Tuesday. We're going to see a little bit of cloud coverage to start your day, but more sunshine as the day goes on. Slightly warmer temperatures tomorrow, a little bit more cloud coverage and a chance of a hint of rain tomorrow morning, but that'll mostly be for Ellensburg. Walla Walla, again, cloudy and then more sunshine as the day goes on. Mid 50s across the board tomorrow, maybe lower 50s for Ellensburg. But after that possibility of morning showers is going to clear up as well. So folks, tomorrow should be a nice and just ever so slightly warmer of a Tuesday is ahead. Alrighty, thank you, Jason, and thank you so much for watching. Cap KB Local News is always on at yaktrainnews.com, where you can also find Jason's weather forecast. We're back tonight at 11 o'clock. Have a wonderful Monday evening.